Every engineering student knows this. The laptop you choose can either make your life easier or make every Revit project a nightmare. So in this video, we are putting that to test. I've got here the Dell Precision 7560, one of the most powerful workstation laptops out there. And I'm going to open Revit, load real sample project, orbit, pan, and push this thing to the limit. You can see exactly how it performs before spending your money. This video kicks off my best laptops for engineering student series, where every week I'll be testing workstation laptops to find out which one actually handles Revit, AutoCAD, and heavy 3D projects smoothly. So if you're an architecture or engineering student wondering whether this RTX A4000 powered beast can keep up with your workflow, stay tuned because we are about to find out. So without wasting my time, let's dive into the specs of this machine. In terms of specs, this one has a one terabyte SSD, an eight gig dedicated multiple GPU. The first GPU on this is an Intel UHD graphics, but that's not why you are here. What is going to benefit you the most is the NVIDIA RTX A4000 laptop GPU. And by the way, if you are planning on buying any laptop too that you know has the same NVIDIA RTX A4000 laptop GPU, this video is also going to be beneficial for you to see if opening Revit on it and working with Revit is going to be smooth for you. All right, so it has 32 gigs of RAM, 11 gen, Intel Core i7, 11,850H at 2.5 gigahertz. The laptop is well built in aluminum and it has a huge vent beneath it. On the side, it has two USB type C ports. On this side, it has two USB type A ports with a headphone jack port with an SD card slot. And on the back, it has HDMI ports, Ethernet cable ports, and a display port and vent at the back. And it comes with a 180 watt power. Now, since this laptop was originally released in 2023, it's a little older, which actually works in your favor. You can actually find used or refurbished on eBay or your local marketplace. Anywhere between $300 to $900, depending on the configuration and the condition. So if you're a student on a budget, this might just be one of the best deals out there for Revit level performance. Now, before we start, one quick note. The fan do kicks in pretty often on this model. It's not crazy loud, but you definitely hear them once the GPU starts working. So I'm launching Revit and it's open. Let's start with a basic structure project. Looks fine. Now let's switch to 3D view and I'm going to turn on accelerated graphic preview to make things smoother. You can already see everything feels snappy. Let's orbit around a bit, zoom in, pan around. So far, no lag at all. It handled the 3D view smoothly. Now I'm opening a much larger architecture sample file and here's where I noticed something. The load time takes a little longer than I expected. But once the project is fully open, the experience is pretty solid. With accelerated graphic turn on, orbiting, panning and zooming all feels fluid. Without that feature though, it does struggle slightly. So make sure you turn it on if you are using Revit on this laptop. I do rate this laptop an 8 out of 10 for Revit. The only downside is the initial loading time for big projects but once you are inside it's smooth sailing. The RTS A4000 really pulls its weight and for students, professionals working with architecture and structure models this machine can definitely handle it. Let me know what you think in the comments. How do you feel about the performance so far? Would you consider the Dell Precision 7560 for Revit. All right, so that's a wrap up on the Dell Precision 7560 for Revit AutoCAD. If there's any specific laptop you want me to test next, please leave it down in the comment below and I'll try my best to get my hands on it. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss my next uh, review for laptop for engineering students. And just in case you want to see an unedited raw footage of me opening the project in Revit, I'm going to leave clips after this.
Everybody say, don't forget that.